and Cherry Pie Home Awit. And now, we're going to talk all about El Nino. Let's go! When we notice different weather patterns, we usually think of what's happened in the air. But did you know that a lot of what happened in the air is because of the temperature of the ocean? You don't know that, right? So now, you must listen. It blows hot, it blows slow, it brings fire and rain, also it affects weather around the world. It is what we call El Nino. El Nino is not a storm, but rather a weather phenomenon in the Pacific Ocean. During an El Nino, the surface water temperature warms. In the 19th century, the South American fishermen describing warmer waters during the Christmas time coined the name El Nino. El Nino means the Christ child and was used because the phenomenon often arrived the Christmas. El Nino is an abnormal weather pattern caused by the warming of the Pacific Ocean near the equator off the coast of the South America. The sun warms the water near the equator, which can make more clouds and therefore more rain. However, normally there are trade winds which blows the warm water west. During El Nino, though those rains weaken or even reverse, which lets the warm water that is usually found in the western Pacific, it remains or flow east. This warm water displaces the colder water that is normally found near the surface of the eastern Pacific, setting off atmospheric changes that affect weather patterns in many parts of the world. A temperature increase of at least 0.5 degrees Celsius it needs to occur in the waters of the eastern Pacific Ocean. It is near the equator for it to be considered an El Nino year. Although, El Nino does not occur in a perfectly regular pattern, but it seems to happen every two to seven years. Following an El Nino, an opposite phenomenon occurs. It is what we call La Nina. During La Nina, the Eastern Pacific Ocean experiences cooler than normal temperatures around the equator. The variation of an El Nino event are described as flavors. These two flavors are what we call the Trans Nino and the Mudoki Nino. The Trans Nino is a transition period during an El Nino cycle, and this can be happen at the beginning, middle, or the end of the event transition in the process. Some effects of the Trans Nino flavor, including the increased tornado activity in the United States. However, the Mudoki Nino is a flavor located in the Central Pacific Ocean instead of the Eastern Pacific Ocean. The effect of the Modoki Nino is increased hurricane activity in the Atlantic Ocean. What causes an El Nino? El Nino can cause floods, droughts, hurricanes, fires, and other climate changes. The effects of El Nino can be slightly different every time. Sometimes, for example, it brings rain to desert which is normally do not get rain. Sometimes, El Nino causes droughts, dust storms, or brush fires in the areas that are not normally dry. It may even cause harsh ice storms in colder climates. Crafts also can be severely affected by these climate changes. There are other effects too. For example, flooding can result in swarming mosquitoes and the spread of diseases. Also, the effect of El Nino is not always bad. Some places benefit from increased rainfall, so crop yields improve. <laughs>